Welcome back guys. In the previous lecture we have completed the Stripe payment gateway integration process in both front end, back end everything. Now in this lecture we are going to add some styling stuff to that. So first of all when we click on the pay now button we have to show the loading icon. So if you click on pay now button and we will get the alert pop up after clicking on that ok button you just need to select the loading. So where it is uh, open bookings screen already we have loading all those stuff loading error and uh, room so after uh, on token function so whenever the request is processed here i am going to write set loading is equal to true after processing set loading false here also set loading false set loading false and I am going to add one sweet alert with the pop-up so your order is booked successfully like that and open sweet alert npm copy it and here you need to paste paste it and I am going to import that at the top import swell from sweet alert 2 and if the payment is success first we will hide the loading icon then i am going to pop up the alert with the message your uh, room is booked successfully npm start so here i am going to write swell dot fire so in this the first message is congratulations congratulations and the message description is your room booked successfully room booked successfully and the next one is type of the uh, pop-up so it is a success pop-up control s and if it is having any error we have to show the same pop-up with the error symbol swell dot fire same congratulations here you have to write your something went wrong something went wrong here error that's it and after clicking on the OK in the success pop-up, you have to navigate to the uh, orders, that means bookings. So later I will add that. First of all, let the server restart. So almost we are in the ending stage. So if it is complete, we are left with uh, filter section. That means uh, searching and the type of room, in deluxe, non-deluxe. So then you can add some stuff in the admin panel. So our course will be completed. Here you can see the server has restarted. Now I'm going to book the room. So refresh the page. Uh, let's get back and book another room. So let's book the second room of your flagship. Select some dates 24 to 30. Long date. Book now. Click on pay now. So I'll enter valid details only at the rate gmail.com and all photos here uh, 1223 and cv is equal to 123 click on pay now button so 10500 is the amount pay now first it will show these loading then it will show our loading here you can see loading congratulations something went wrong right what happened okay sorry it's not congratulations oops it is oops i think we have an error i don't know what it is let's open mongodb and let's refresh the page whether we got the second booking or not we got the second booking but i got the alert pop up as the error let's try one more time so in the try block i am sending congratulations your room booked successfully in the cache sorry uh, we have to write these uh, 
in this catch block so i have written at the after the catch block there's a reason it is responding like that so in the catch block you have to write so let's book the another room select the dates 22 21 so all are eligible click on the first one pay now same details at the rate gmail.com all four twos and 12 23 and 123 pay this time it should show success alert pop-up yeah here you can see success alert pop-up congratulations your room booked successfully now after clicking on this uh, okay we should navigate to the uh, bookings route so it is simple so for the swell uh, fire method you just need to add the callback function then so that then will take the result as the parameter so we don't want the this parameter but it is the their documentation so if it is success we are navigating to the window dot location dot href is equal to bookings control s that's it now i'm going to book the room so let's see whether we have the bookings route or not so we don't have bookings route let's create it open now bar so let's go to the bookings it will navigate to the bookings yeah now let's create the one more function 22 to 24 so i'll book this last one oyo flagship 766 pay now yeah same details at the rate gmail.com all four twos uh, 12 23 and 1 2 3 so after getting success the url should change <coughs> here you can see i got the alert pop up if i click on okay the url should go to the localhost 3000 slash bookings here you can see it is in the slash bookings so in the next lecture we are going to create that bookings screen thank you